All right, uh, here uh, back on the floor with a uh, friend of the vlog, Ron Mars. Uh, been talking. I mean, it's been. A, I think the first time we actually talked was uh, when you did the Gilderland Star Wars Day. Oh yeah, that was a few years ago. Yeah, now. that was a few few years ago now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so 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 what's been up since then? Oh, well, you things? know, wrote, wrote a few comics, <laughs> suffered a few winters, <laughs> suffered a few Albany winters. He has he has, he has uh, a this uh, small little book about dinosaurs eating people. Well, um, um, Tura, check it uh, out. Very good. <laughs> really, what else do you want in a dinosaur book? True. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the, the the you know the poignant coming of age story of a triceratops. I don't think so. <laughs> See those dinosaurs eat somebody. Yeah. So. Uh, um, what else have you been working on? I know you're uh, working with uh, Ominous Press. Ominous Press is my is a huge chunk of my time, yeah. uh, both as a writer and as the editor in chief of various and sundry products, many of which are <laughs> scattered on the table here. Um, so we, you know, we do we do comics, we do graphic novels, we do art books. Um, we just did our first sort of artist edition, oversized book of uh, Graham Nolan's Monster Island. Okay. Um, so, uh, recently and, had uh, Bart, Bart Sears did his second volume of uh, Boots and Babes? Yep, Bart just, uh, we kickstarted the uh, second volume of his Boots and Babes drawing book. Um, first volume, I should have one of those. They're all, they're all gone from my basement shelves. We sold them all. Uh, but uh, yeah, Bart's volume two of Boots and Babes is coming out. And uh, Monday night, uh, this Monday night at midnight, we put up the Kickstarter for uh, an omnibus of Jim Starlin's Dread Star. So, I'll definitely uh, be sure to see. Put that. We actually we actually came prepared. Um, so yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing a three volume omnibus set of uh, all of Jim's Dread Star, okay. which is all of the painted stuff that was in Epic Illustrated, the graphic novels, uh, and then issues one through forty of the regular series. So you're also so you're writing Turok, of course. Uh, Fathom, right? Fathom just wound up. Uh, I just, <clears throat> we just uh, I just finished off my season of Fathom, okay. um, which is the way Aspen runs their book, which is kind of cool. You come in, do your you know, do your story, and you know you know you know you have you know, eight issues to come in and tell right. your story. Um, so you, it's kind of nice to be able to plan. Of beginning, middle, and end, and then uh, and then hand it off to somebody else. Huh. Uh, so, um, eight, uh, issue eight just came out a week or two ago, and then there'll be a trade later in the summer. Uh, and hopefully, um, you know, I'll do more with those guys and talk to them now about yeah. what other toys they might want me to play with out there. Yeah. And uh, you also do Demigod, right? Uh, Demigod is still going from IDW. Uh, issues three and four. Uh, issue three is done except for some production issue four is being drawn so we'll have those out soon so we'll do the single issues through um through idw and we'll do a collected version uh hardcover of uh issues three and four to match the uh hardcover oversize that we did uh from ominous of one two very nice so uh, you were supposed to be at the uh albany comic con this few weeks ago but you were uh, across the pond. I, I, I fled the country, is <laughs> what the country. really happened. Who wouldn't um, want to? <laughs> uh, especially, especially this time of year, right? Um, it was a lot greener over there than it was here. Um, yeah, I was in. Uh, I was at a show in Birmingham, uh, UK, um, and it just happened to fall on the same weekend as Albany, so, uh, so I was on a plane. Uh, that's one of the, honestly, one of the perks of this, of this gig is, uh, you know, you can go you go visit exotic places, uh, and, and truthfully, places more exotic than Birmingham, UK, which is a, <laughs> uh, which was really cool. But yeah. you know, it's kind of a blue collar, uh, uh, blue collar English town, uh, and I enjoyed I enjoyed the experience a lot. But it's not you know, it's not that different than here. Right. Um, but you know, I've got some trips later in the year coming up that are uh, more exotic uh, locations where you know, say the, the people don't speak English, so. Oh. Uh, it's it's kind of stunning that that comics uh, has spread comics and sort of comic culture in general, with films and TV shows has spread around the world. So that you know, I, I get invitations to go to places that I never thought I'd set foot in. So uh, how has your uh, weekend here been this year? It's good. Um, I you know I love this convention center. It's a great location. Uh, there's a 
there's a huge bank of windows over there, which I, I dearly love, because most, you know, most convention centers in most cities are essentially a cement bunker. And you can see an egg. I can see the egg, uh, <laughs> which is a building I really love too. I always, when I first saw it, I thought, Flight of the Navigator. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so it's, um, this is a nice location, and this is a nice show, these, the, you know, alternate reality that, um, that puts on this show in Rhode Island. I did a, I did the Colorado show for them last year. Um, oh, that's the place where they don't speak English. Right? That's well, <laughs> that, you know, most everybody out there is stoned. So, uh, <laughs> which that wasn't that was like an odd thing to get used to is people just you know walking around on the street smoking a joint. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's right. It's, this is this is a different place. Uh, so uh, this is you know they they sort of planted a seed here last year and they're and they're nurturing it. So little by little, I think this show will grow. Um, it's a little bit of a different flavor uh, for Albany because it's got uh, a lot of celebrities. It's 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 more of a uh, it's more of a hit all of the all of the uh, dishes on the yeah. on the smorgasbord. Uh, than say Albany uh, Comic Con, which right. is a comic show, which right. I think, yeah. and I, I think because of that, there's there's room for for both of these shows in yeah. town. Um, it's it's kind of nice to have uh, different options, and I, and I see a different audience here. I see a, a generally um, a, a different uh, crowd here. There's some overlap, of course, but there are some you know there are some people at the Albany show that I don't see here. There are some people at this show that I don't see at Albany Comic Con. Yeah. Well, I will uh, let you uh, get back to your uh, tabling. And, uh, well, I, what, I'm, what I'm really going to do is go into the green room and get coffee because okay. it's early in the morning. Uh, that's, that's, the other, that's the other awesome thing about, about this show is like best green room in comics. Okay. Uh, they, uh, hey, speaking of uh, green room and refreshments, I, I want to thank you again for uh, New York Comic Con. Letting me come behind and he's like, here, grab some. <laughs> we, well, we had, you know, we had we had the secret stash back there. <laughs> we did, uh, and uh, you know, we had. Uh, so this was this was at the uh, the the ominous press slash creation Inc. booth uh, at New York Comic Con. We had a secret room, kind of in the middle of the booth that had uh, food, refrigerator, couple of refrigerators full of stuff. Uh, you know, lunch meat, and you, and bagels, you, and you, and candy, you, and you guys had to break that down and get it over to Chicago soon after, right? We did, and it <laughs> it, uh, it it did not go quite as planned. It, uh, <laughs> so the, the the show ended the show ended Sunday, and you have Monday to pack up your stuff and get yeah. out. And of course, Javits Center being a union show, I don't know if you've ever heard this, but you know unions are sort of a big deal in New York City. I'm uh, part of one. I'm a shop steward at work. There you go. Um, so, so you really can't do any. You can't do your own stuff. Right. Uh, you you got to wait for the, for the guys to come. You know, break down your booth. And we had a thirty by forty booth, which was like a huge erector set. So, you know, so they would come. They they came around and, and eventually broke down the booth for us and then just left it there. Mm -hmm. So we got to pack it up into all the cases and then get the cases shipped to the loading dock, and and ostensibly we get the truck and load it into the truck and drive it away. And the, the the guy who drove it into town for us had to go back to Buffalo, and uh, so so someone was needed to drive the truck from Jersey where you we parked it. And you got to the well. It was one of those things where they said, "Hey, does anybody know how to drive a truck?" <laughs> and and apparently everybody in line with me took a step back. <laughs> so so I was like, oh, I, apparently the editor in chief's going to be driving the truck. <laughs> Uh, through the Lincoln Tunnel and into Manhattan, and man, man of many uh, trades. <laughs> so, so we we drove from so so I have, we broke down the booth, uh, packed it up, caught an Uber over to Jersey where we parked the truck because you can't park your truck in Manhattan. Uh, got the truck, cab driver got lost in Jersey, blew like half an hour, and so drove the truck back through the Lincoln Tunnel, got to the Javits Center, and you had to be at the Javits Center at 4:30 in order to get your paperwork signed off and go. There's a 6 history many series oh in there somewhere. So <laughs> so we pulled up at 429 and the union office was closed. <laughs> so we pulled around to the loading dock to try to talk somebody into just put our stuff on the truck and we can go. And they're like, nope, we're done. See ya. <laughs> Drive back to Jersey, park the truck, get a, get a room, sleep, 
get up in the morning, drive back into Manhattan, and finally get the truck loaded, and then drive back. We just went to a maxi series. <laughs> it's, it was uh, it was it was not my favorite uh, not my favorite convention experience. And then, as you said, uh, so we we drove I drove it as far as here. The guy that was with me drove it the rest of the way to Buffalo. Okay. Uh, they uh, unloaded what needed to be unloaded, packed the truck again, and left Thursday for Chicago. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I was in a plane to Chicago, so okay. it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it, it was not. Uh, it was not my responsibility on on the other side. So, but that's that's the, you know, that's the the, the, the harsh reality of comics because sometimes you got to drive a truck in Manhattan. Yeah. Um, so, uh, last question: Are you are you yourself reading anything that you really know? Um, what am I reading right now? The, the, you know, the, the other harsh reality of comics is, you know, if you do this as a career, you don't have anywhere yeah. near the time to, to actually read the stuff that, yeah. you, that you want to. Um, I, you know, I, I read, you know, my my usuals, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, Batman, Superman. I think Hawkman's terrific right now. Yes. Um, uh, Hellboy always. Um, Daredevil and Thor are always good. Um, but I think my favorite book of the year so far is These Savage Shores from uh, from Vault, oh, okay. uh, which is uh, by a guy I met a number of years ago in London, uh, Ram V, who is a terrific writer. And he's working with uh, an Indian team on that book, and it's uh, it's a vampire story set in uh, colonial times in India with the uh, with the East India Trading Company exerting control of the it's over the country. It's, it's a complex story. Uh, fourth issue comes out either next week or the week after, but it's it's really really well done. It's it's um, it's one of those books that that comes out and I just read it and go, I wish I had done this. <laughs> Jim, thanks for taking the time to talk with us, and I'm sure we'll cross paths again before too long. <laughs> you know where to find me. Well, you know where to find me if you uh, always have you know, anything you wanna you know, promote or anything. So thanks again and good to see you. Thanks.